Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. I'd like to show this to you. This is a very old piece of artwork. Uh, I've had this since 1984. So if my math is right, it makes it uh, close to 40 years. And uh, here's a close-up. I just want to show that I have been fond of circles and this type of composition for a very long time. And uh, even if I uh, try to compose pictures, unconsciously these gestures and images keep coming back so i guess it's ingrained in my subconscious but i thought it would be fun to show that to you and establish a timeline so i will do a composition that revisits this piece and reinterpret it for the 21st century. So I'm going to start with some Blicrylic Mars Black. I think it's fluid enough that I don't need to add water. Uh, I think if I add water, I'll have too much of that uh, blotchy texture. So I'm going to start by doing a circle. Okay, so that is my main, the main character, and I will air dry this and then proceed to the smaller details. I'm going to use a soft Naples yellow. Okay. 
and combine it with some um, raw sienna. Well, this is brand new. So I have to remove the protective seal. Don't want to waste that. And like with all acrylic paints, it's a good idea to give it a good shake. Okay. Now I'm, I'm not expecting the paint to pick up everything. Uh, that's just the nature of uh, picking up a uh, first layer. But if I can pick up most of it, I'll be very happy. So this is my Fabriano paper, Fabriano Unica, and hopefully this is not going to tear uh, because I, before doing this print session, I did scrub the gel plate and gave it a very good soaking with baby oil. In fact, I I really poured it on and I let it sit overnight and when I woke up this morning the oil was all gone. It got absorbed by the surface of the plate so that helps in making it uh, more uh, resistant to tearing. Okay, since I'm trying to pick up the first layer, I will leave this for a good five to ten minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, it's been almost 10 minutes. I hope this doesn't tear on me. I think the uh, brushwork is amazing. It's really stuck on the plate, but it's not. I'm confident that it won't tear, but it is picking up every little bit of paint. Oops. Okay. 
that piece got left behind. I wonder if I can pick it up and glue it. Almost perfect. Really is a skin, that's what it is. I'm not going to do that. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's best to show the natural process uh, with its uh, imperfections and all. So uh, here's a close up. Makes me think of a busted tire. But I'm glad that it picked up all the details. So I'm going to air dry this and decide the next step. And it may have very little resemblance to the inspiration piece, but that's okay. That's the whole point of uh, deriving inspiration from past artwork. It's not to copy it, but to reinvent it. So I'll be right back. Okay, I found some of the uh, pieces of collage elements. And I think they will work very well here. Okay, so I just have one, two, three, I just have four elements here. And I'm going to let this air dry and then proceed to the next step. Just to seal this area here, I'm going to put some Mod Podge on it, just to help seal it. Okay, so while the collage is drying on the other table, I'm going to try something 
a little crazy and do an oil resist and I will just keep painting a series of circles different So, I will do a combination of pewter There's not much left some bronze and some metallic pearl so I have three colors Let's start with the metallic pearl. the pewter. The pewter is a little more liquid. Okay, let's see how this works out. The uh, paper is buckling a lot because it's still very wet, but hopefully when, when it dries out, it will straighten out. So 
So leave this for about five to 10 minutes. Just going to take a peek. Very interesting. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's pretty wild. Just protect this because I I intend to re recover that. It's not what I expected, but it has a very interesting result. Kind of like a like a patina or a something that's rusted over time. So I will let this air dry and then recap. I'll try to uh, pick up the ghost print.
Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, that's very highly textured background. So I will air dry this and then decide what the next step is. Okay, I'm back. And I arranged some of my reusable stencils and I'm going to assign vermilion here on the right side and do some Naples yellow here on the left side. So I will start with the Naples yellow. Vermilion here. And hopefully this will break up the uh, excessive texture. Let me just see if I can clean this up. So here is the print with the oil resist. Here. I'm not going to let this 
sit too long. Okay, that's more like it. It kind of breaks up the monotony. There you go. And I, I like the difference between the left side and the right side. There's some kind of contrast. Okay, I will air dry this and then recap. I will see if I want to see if this will work. I want to see if this will work for this. Um, I'm going to try, um, I'm going to try some matte medium. And see if it will help pick up everything. does have a very soapy kind of uh, texture. Okay, I'm going to leave this for another five minutes. Okay, it's been over five minutes. I think it's picking up all the paint. It's amazing what the uh, Mac Medium does. It's like a vacuum cleaner. Very cool.
I even like these uh, pieces of uh, dried paint that came off the stencil. They look like little uh, pieces of land on a map. So I will air dry these two guys and then do a recap with them side by side. So don't go away. Okay, here's the first print. Pretty happy with the result. I, I was a little disappointed on the second pull because the uh, metallic paint made everything look very dull. I was hoping that it would do the opposite effect. But the uh, vermilion did the trick and the white. So uh, here's a close up. I love these textures, They're very complex. And the uh, metallic gold gives it a nice shine, especially this part. Okay, so that's print number one. This is the ghost print. Now it has, it doesn't have any trace of metallic paint, but it's still quite effective because of the uh, very rich texture. And this is due to the uh, oil resist. It's when the oil reacts with the acrylic paint. This is the texture that results. so you can see the comparison. adventure. I wasn't sure where this was going. I usually don't know where it's going uh, because I, I do things spur of the moment and I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, could have been worse. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along for the ride. Uh, thank you for all you wonderful supporters who generously donated to PayPal to help keep this channel going. I hope to see you next time.